Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hey guys! Today we're gonna chit chat and do a little hair transformation together, okay? I have not posted in a little bit. I mean, I've been posting on my Snapchat, I've been posting on my TikTok, the Instagram Reels, but I have not posted something on my YouTube channel in a little, so I thought today we could just hang out together, and I'm gonna tell you everything that has been going on in the last month of my life. I'm gonna tell you how this old woman really tried me at Sam's Club yesterday. Yes, just mommy things. No, but like, why did a 75-year-old woman really like go out of her way to do all this? I will share while I'm doing my hair. Today, we're using this. If you saw the TikTok slash reel of me trying to do my hair jet black, you saw how miserable it failed because the color just did not stick and I was being delusional talking about no you guys it's it's black it's black no bitch it's brown and that's what the fuck I get for trying to get a hair dye that was two for three and they were already like four dollars a bottle <laughs> but we're going back to the high color okay this is my favorite brand of hair dye when I used to dye my hair red this is what I use this is not for blonde hair so if you're a blondie watching this and you're like oh let me take a screenshot let me take notes delete the note because <laughs> Because this one is actually for dark hair only. So this is H21 Black Onyx. The girl that helped me actually said this was the darkest one that they had in the store. So we finna see. And I don't want to see nobody in the comments talking about, no, get a wig. I have too many. They make my head itch. I live in the middle of the desert. Give me a break. Like I literally, what is that like disorder where you sweat too much? Hydrocose something. I have that. I'm self-diagnosed though. And I know y'all be seeing me on TikTok and those little wig advertisements. Okay. Like I love my wigs, but they never last on my head more than a couple hours. So I've been taking care of my hair to where I'm happy with how it looks outside of my wigs. And girl, we've gotten some growth. Let me show you guys the stuff that I've been putting in my hair to help it grow. This is not sponsored. Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Oil. Can it focus, please? Girl, take a screenshot of this and do not delete. Like, you need to go and get this for real. I got this for $12.99. I'm pretty sure I bought it for $8 somewhere else before. And then I also use the shampoo and the conditioner. This is the Rosemary Mint Blend Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. My dumbass has been putting it in my hair in the shower and rinsing it out. I did not realize until last week, yes, last week, that I'm supposed to put this in after I take a shower. So I feel like that's been also helping my hair's a lot more moisturized. And then I also use the shampoo from the same brand and I honestly feel like it's been making my hair grow so fast. You also take 5,000 MCGs, I think it is, of biotin every single day. I'll make an entire video about postpartum hair loss and just hair loss and hair growth in general. Okay, so I don't have gloves. I don't... <laughs> Nothing has changed. There's been growth, but clearly not in this alley. Cause girl, I don't have gloves. I don't have the little mixer. So bitch, we're using a trash can. I'm also using this thing, little mixy mixy. I got this in one of my little wig unboxing. <laughs> if you watch me for motivation of like growth, I'm definitely gonna provide that in like mentality and like other ways. But when it comes to like shit like that, we still down bad. Oh fuck, because I don't have the measuring stuff. I'm not gonna know how much to, we're gonna eyeball it. Also, I hope this is not expired. Do these expire? Because this has been in my under my sink for a while, but we will find out today. This hair growth, I'm like, yes, my hair grew. And then like after this video, it fucking falls off. Okay, so per bottle of this, we need to put 2.5 fluid ounces. But I think I can eyeball it. This is 1.7, so I just have to put like double of this in here. Right? Good luck, mamas. Don't fuck it up. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I feel like that looks like a good amount. Oh, girl, let me not forget my little Timu robe. Very bougie, very expensive. I think this was $3. And of course, I don't have the damn thing to like tie it around and keep it on. Let's get this shit popping, okay? This is gonna come out good. It's gonna be fabulous. Don't look at my nails. I know they look horrendous right now. Now you're looking at them. Now you're focusing on them. Um, I've been doing a lot of gardening. Why do I got a little green thumb all of a sudden? Um, every other year that I planted stuff, the only thing that has ever survived was my petunias. And I think it's because that's like the most easiest thing that you can potentially try to um, grow and nurture. We got basil, we got kale. I got all these different flowers, girl. I be outside. I got a little tan too, huh? I always wonder like, why does my skin tone look so pale? Why do I look so just like 
wash out. Maybe you should see some sun. Y'all, guess what I just linked up with a couple of weeks ago before I get into my granny story. Cause she, she was just such a buzzkill. Like I was really in line just trying to buy a goddamn slice of pizza and an icing. But y'all, I saw my girl Kelly Sweet. My girl Kelly Sweet. It was so fun. She has a podcast. Um, she had one before, but she just like started it up again. So of course she invited me on an episode and we just got into it. We talked a lot and eventually whenever she posted, I will of course let you guys know so you can go and watch it. But it was just so nice. Like I have not seen her since like 2017, 2018-ish. Um, and she was one of my like best friends at one point in LA. But after I left, like, yeah, we still like kept in touch and stuff, like little FaceTime, like sending each other voice memos and like talking and all that through the phone. But we had not like physically been in front of each other in a long time. So it, I was scared. I was a little nervous at first, but we had such a good time. It was just like the old days, uh, minus all the traumatic things that we got into together. Because when I tell you, me and Kelly have been through some shit together. We have been through some shit together. And honestly, it's because I dragged her into a lot of it. Like she, <laughs> but yeah, we met up where she was filming her podcast. And then after that, this is why I tell you guys to follow me on Snapchat because I literally post everything on there. Um, so definitely follow me on Snapchat. I'll put the little thing right here. Take a picture with your phone and literally the QR code and it'll add me. Um, recently, I got kind of sick. Like, girl, for the first time. And see, this is why I think somebody be listening. Mm -mm, because I said out loud, I have not been sick in the longest time. Da -da 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 -da. And the bitch I ended up sick right after I said it. Like, ugh. I hadn't been posting too much, but I'm like getting back on there again. So definitely follow me. And you can respond to all of my Snapchats if you subscribe to me on there. Yes, it's free. I don't mean subscribe as in like you have to pay for 99 or something. I just mean subscribe to my like. I mean, follow me on there, basically. And you can respond to all of my snaps. I see everything that you guys are saying on there. So, and sometimes I'm responding to you guys as well. So if you want to, like, chit-chat, have a little conversation with each other, add me on there. Because I can just directly respond to you guys and then it goes straight to our DMs. Or I can obviously, like, share my responses live. But then after we filmed, we went back downtown and we just kind of, like, hung out and walked around, got some food. It was really nice. Like it was just so funny like seeing her pump at the table. I was like, oh my god Like even though I have two kids like I went through all of that. I was just like, oh my god Like my friends are having kids now like now I now have someone else <laughs> um, I'm going to regret my hands so bad. Oh my god. Like what was the secret acetone or something to like Get all the hair dye off. So out of that whole era of me living in LA, the only people, because people keep commenting on my videos, on my TikToks, on my Snap, like, do you still talk to blah blah blah? Do you still hang out with doo doo doo? I will say this now, the only people that I literally like, could say that I actually talk to, and I'm not talking about, oh, we check in on each other every 9 to 12 months, like, no, I mean actually like talking, Steven and Kelly. That's it. From that era. Like, that's literally it. Um, of course, I'm still at my best friend Marcus, so like you guys know. He used to have the account Bitchy Tweets on Instagram, and then he sold it, got his bag. Nobody makes any attempts to keep up. I don't make any attempts to keep up either, so it is very much mutual. I just realized that, like, I used to get butt hurt. Like, I've made obviously new friends since then, but I used to get butt hurt about, like, letting those friendships go, because it's like, oh my god. Like, it was such a fun... Um, interesting time of my life, so I think I was trying to like hold on to those that feeling. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know for 2024 because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys like super super deep about a lot of stuff from this year because I haven't been too active on my YouTube channel. Um, but I don't know. I feel like in 2024 I officially was like, okay, I don't care anymore. Like people are living their own lives, I'm living my life, like, I cannot be out here trying to force something that's just not what it was, and that's okay. Um, I'm kind of in, like, dealing with that right now, too, with a friend that they, like, randomly, like, ghosted me, and I don't know, it's like, I feel like when I'm, I'm almost 30, like, I know I'm, I just turned 27. I just turned 27. But like, I'm in my late 20s. I feel like I shouldn't have to chase people or chase friendships. And 
even though it hurts and what hurts the most is like when people say that other people ghost them or the reason they don't have lots of friends is because other people do these things that they're doing to you like it just doesn't make any sense it sucks because i would want to like like obviously me and anthony still haven't had the wedding because i told you guys i wanted to get fit again i wanted to be confident and feel good in my wedding dress and just like all of that and now i'm finally feeling good again and i'm ready to like do all that and it's like damn bitch like i don't got no girls to like go on with the dresses with like me and kelly talked about it she's like bitch i'll go with you like what but it's like dang like i want to yes to yes to the dress say yes to the dress moment where you have like your mom and your grandma and like your two best friends from your childhood and just, <laughs> that's just not how it went or it's going to go unfortunately i guess those friends that are meant to be in my life for a long time will eventually show up but i'm appreciative of the ones that i have now now let me tell you what the fuck this bitch did in Sam's Club because there was really no reason for this. Like you guys are gonna be like, so unlike Costco where you can go and self checkout, pick out your own food, and then they call your number, you have to actually wait in a freaking long ass line, which it's fine. I have patience, right? It wasn't too too many people. There's maybe four customers in front of me, and maybe one or two behind me. So like nothing crazy. I get in the line, and this lady gets behind me, maybe only a minute after me, and I don't realize that she's talking about me, but I can hear her like saying what she's saying. And this woman says, "This stupid skinny bitch, this stupid bitch, blocking the line with her car, blocking it just in the way." And I just hear her and I'm like, oh my God, like who's in the way? And then like a couple seconds later, Anthony asked me like, oh, do you know what they have on the menu? Cause this was our first time ever trying anything from Sam's Club, right? Cause we just got our membership. So I'm like, oh, let me open up the menu on my phone and we can look. And as we're scrolling on the menu, I hear this woman again behind me saying, this stupid bitch is clearly doesn't eat food. She has to look up the menu cause she clearly doesn't eat. So when I hear this, I'm like, okay, obviously she's talking about me now because who else is in line scrolling on the menu and who else is this smashed? We scoot up a little bit more and this woman is just going off to her, I don't know if that was her son or her husband, but she's just going off about just everything, just everything. She didn't like how the bread was packaged. She didn't like the look of the rotisserie chickens. Like she's just complaining about literally anything that she could think of, I swear. So finally it's my turn to order and on the counter they have this little like sheet that has pictures of everything that they have on the menu. So I'm looking at it a little bit while I'm telling the guy like oh, I want this pizza. Da -da -da -da. And I kind of like stall a little bit because once again this is my first time. But like everybody's going pretty quick. This whole interaction happened within maybe like four to five minutes. So like we were not really waiting that long. She should not have been this pressed because I was looking for like 15 seconds. So as I'm like looking over, I could hear her like once again starting again, like, do you not know what's on the menu? Like, do you really not know? And as she's in the middle of talking, I'm like, ma'am. Um, can I get a cherry icy? And that was it, she stopped. Like that was it. Like what was the point? Why why did I have to raise my voice? Why did I have to raise my voice at an old woman? Then I look at her and she ain't got no teeth. Now I see why you're mad. Now I understand. First of all, I am not even that skinny. Like a bitch, I <laughs> I lift weights. Like what do you mean skinny? Like most people would be like, oh my god, that's such a compliment. No. You know how much I eat. Like you know how much I have to force myself to eat sometimes to keep up with my protein intake. Like that's skinny. Like why couldn't she say this bitch with her fat ass? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that kind of broke my heart a little bit. <laughs> and thank goodness that Sam's Club over here is nothing like Costco. Plus, we were also there at like 10 in the morning. So like this also happened at 10 a.m. When I'm with my kids, I'm not gonna cause a commotion. I'm not gonna cause drama. I am not gonna like cause a scene. I can't get caught up. I don't wanna get in trouble. You know that smoker voice that people have that sounds like they're spitting with every freaking word that comes out of their mouth? It was like that. Oh, it burns! It burns! Like it's really not that serious. It's not. Oh my god, you guys, look, my Botox wore off. Ah! Oh, this crunch time abdomen. Anybody that is going to Gag City, an upcoming tour date, <laughs> have fun for me. Have fun for me. I miss her so much. See, at first I thought, like, haha, I'm one of the first tour dates. So, like, if she gets tired, like, it's okay, because I'm, you know, I'm one of the early shows. If she has to call off the tour, I think I was in the clear, right? But no, I miss her. I've been thinking about that.
But anyways, back to what I was saying about the whole Sam's Club situation. So after I go ma'am, loud as hell, like obviously everyone's looking at me. So like, hi. But homegirl was being loud too. And like, why are you insulting me in front of all these customers and also in front of my children? Like, why are you cussing and being rude? We try to not cuss in front of the kids. We try to like, I only listen to the clean version of all of Nikki's music in front of my kids. Like I have to pay, like movies, they have to be G, not PG. So I was like, can you stop cussing in front of my kids? Like, can you just, can you not? So at first I was a little embarrassed because I still had to go up to the machine to like get my drink. So I'm like, oh my God, like I could just feel all these people just watching me because after it happened, I kind of like looked and everyone was staring over there. But as I was walking back over with the drinks, this older woman looked at me and went, so I felt better about it because I don't like to be rude to older people. And also it's like, I don't know what that woman might be going through in her day-to-day -day life that made her that angry, but don't. Um, don't take it out on me. I will have grace, but if you're gonna keep going and doing the most, like, ma'am, I have my phaser defense pepper spray in my bag right now, and I've been itching to try it out. I'm feeling sexy. Wanna hear you say my name? I have a friend that's into all those like psychic astrology people on TikTok, and he's always sending me videos of oh like things are gonna change in 2024 things are coming to light this year like just watch out like bitch what's coming out i'm done the only thing that needs to come out is some sort of like program where i don't have to pay bills anymore what do i have to do how do i sign up like like what if <laughs> what if they offer <laughs> bitch why am i thinking of this what if they told you if you give us one of your eyes you never have to pay bills again like no taxes none of that like what if there's like an organ donation for a wait there is but no what if it was like if you give us like certain things <laughs> so which eye for an eye eye for a bill like if you're like a really good singer they're like oh we're gonna like fuck up your vocal cords and then everything is free um if you love to run we're gonna take your big toe so now it's gonna be very difficult did i smoke before doing this <laughs> that's something else that i was talking about on my um snapchat recently not recently, it was actually a month ago. But I decided that I was gonna start cutting back on my smoking and that I did because you guys, I feel like I was always hitting my freaking little stizzy pen and I always like, like you get in the habit of that and when I was like living in LA, that's when that whole problem started. Cause like if you're gonna smoke flour, you have to go outside, like clean your bond and clean your piece and like grind it up and do the da and this, my life. Like it's a whole process, right? I don't think there's any wrong, anything wrong with it. Like some people have to take Prozac, some people have to take this, they have to take that just to get through the day um so like do what you gotta do girl but when it comes to like smoking like the way i i just feel like it was just too much like that fucking little stizzy pen like it just made it too like putting it in my purse like bitch no i haven't smoked a blunt like the only time i smoked one was just destiny and before that like years, like I don't smoke once anymore. But I have been cutting back. I no longer have my stizzy, my dad pen. That was making it way too like, it was giving addict, like just being able to hit it all the freaking time. Like, you know how some people are with like their Nick pens, like you're just constantly hitting it because you're addicted to it. Um, but the stizzy, like you have the habit of having it in your hand. And that was a problem for me that started when I lived in LA. So literally for almost 10 years, like I have this damn dad pen in my hand, like that's not okay. Well, not for 10 years straight, obviously, but it was just a problem. And then after I had Luca, it's like, bro, the, pro the problem started again. And I've been on my fitness stuff and I've been really trying to like get healthier with like other things as well. So I need to stop using concentrates. So those are officially out of my life. It's been a month now. Um, as for like flour and like joints and stuff, I haven't used that since an hour ago but girl it was kind of hard at first because for maybe like a week or two i was so irritable like everything just pissed me off and i was just snapping and i couldn't help it and i didn't realize i was snapping until i was out of it eating wasn't too bad of a problem because of my workouts like they're making me hungry it was literally just two weeks of just being super annoyed and like aggravated so yeah the first two weeks were kind of annoying but i want to be the example and tell you guys that even though they will feel very very long you won't get through it, it's gonna be fine. I think this has been in my hair long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it, and then we're gonna blow dry it with my, I don't think I have it down here or up here. I think I have it downstairs, but I use that little Revlon, um, like round blow dryer brush thing, and it gets my hair dry and just like done in less than five minutes. So we're gonna do that too. I got my hands. I need to um, get the shit off. I'll be right back. Okay, so by the looks of it, it may have worked. 
perfect. We'll see once I actually dry my hair, but I did buy two boxes in case it didn't turn out as dark as I wanted. This is what I'm going to use to blow dry my hair. Yes, it has a lot of hair all over it. Don't look too closely. Somebody on my Snapchat was like, oh, be careful. I had one for only three days and it exploded. I have had this for three years, so um, hopefully it doesn't. I just opened up the YouTube app and the first things that I see, the island where homeless people are shipped to, there's a $22 burrito in California, and Kylie Jenner is broke, pushing random brands, stealing products, and desperate. I don't think Kylie Jenner will ever be broke, but it did throw me off when I saw her on my TikTok for you page advertising some random game. Like, babe, I do shit like that. This is very loud, so we're gonna put some nice music over it. <laughs> Really happy that this wasn't expired. My hair is finally at the length where I'm happy with it, that I don't put my extensions in anymore. So that's where we are now. That's why I'm dyeing my hair because since I'm actually wearing my own hair out finally, I can't believe how long has it been? It's officially been, I think, in maybe a week and a half, two years since I did my big chop of like super, super tiny pixie cut, had like half an inch of hair. Oh, we could definitely see how dark my hair is now in this lighting. That's even better. I've had two haircuts since I chopped all of my hair off. One by Anthony's cousin and she took off like an inch of hair. And then I took off an inch of hair a couple of months ago. I did lose a ton of hair because of postpartum hair loss. So I'm very happy that everything that I've been doing, like all the vitamins I've been taking, everything, I'll make a whole TikTok about it, have basically like fix that problem. But yeah, this is the new hair. Thanks for chit-chatting with me for a little bit. Um, I gotta go get back to my kids. I've been in here for an hour doing my hair. So we're gonna go back to mommy mode. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little. Whenever I get them to go to sleep, I'm gonna edit this video and I'll probably upload it for you guys on Saturday or Sunday. So yeah, make sure you follow me on Snapchat for more daily vlogs and more of an inside look of my life if you're interested in what I be doing. But I love you guys so much. Thanks for coming back for another video. I can't believe I have had my YouTube channel for almost 12 years. You guys have been with me for the longest time. Thank you so much for supporting me for so long and coming back. But that's it for me today and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye girl.